Hi all, in this video I am going to share you guys a complete walkthrough to use tracker in color page of DaVinci Resolve. So in the tracker window you need to use mask or you can't use the complete function or you can't use this tracker function. So create a node and add a mask after that adopt the tracker window on the tracker window on top there is control for tracking and next to the tracking controls there is five parameter which you can use to efficiently track your clip so you need to enable all these parameters based on the clip you are tracking And one of the good thing about this parameter is that if you enable all the parameter your tracking is going to take lot of time and if you enable only the things or only the type of motion that is available on your clip it's going to make it very easy that is your tracking is going to be very efficient and it's going to be very accurate so based on your clip you need to enable the parameter that you need lastly on the tracker window we got two options that is clip and frame simply put clip means whenever you pause the tracking it will add keyframe and you can change the tracking data by adjusting the tracking window but the problem is that if you adjust the tracking window or the mask then mask is not going to be changed to that keyframe so so if you want to change the mask position based on the frame you can't do that by using this clip function so we need to use the frame frame is that the same as that of clip that is when you pause it's going to add a keyframe and by changing the masking it's going to get adjusted to that keyframe so you can change the mask based on the clip based on the time so it will add keyframe and you can get an efficient tracking by using this frame option below this option you can see a tracking data on top right corner you can see the keyframe icon which you can use to add keyframe as well as to navigate between keyframes and to add the keyframe just click the keyframe icon to add the keyframe and to delete the keyframe select all the tracking data by dragging with your mouse and press the delete to delete all the tracking data by following the same step you can delete any tracking data just drag and press delete is going to delete that particular tracking data also to get more precision into this tracking details you can use the zoom in bar available at the bottom and on the right just slide the sliders and you can zoom in and zoom out of this data below the tracking data option you get some in-depth control on right corner you can find drop down which allow you to choose from point tracker and cloud tracker and the difference between this point tracker and cloud tracker is that point tracker as name suggests it's going to track based on points that you specify on the video and the cloud tracker is going to create its own tracking points and it's going to track the clip so based on your clip you can choose whatever you want point tracker means it tracks via point you can add multiple points for an accurate tracking and to add that on the left corner press the mouse icon as it will add the point and from the viewer you can change the point location for an accurate tracking and pressing the delete icon on the left corner you can delete these tracking point and next on the cloud tracker it tracks by finding suitable track point in the power window you selected you can control all these track points for that enable the interactive mode from the left corner so to add the tracking point just drag the location where you want to add the tracking point and on the tracker window left bottom corner just press that rectangle icon as it's going to add the tracking point and to delete the point just select the points and just press the delete icon located at the left bottom corner so that's about the tracking window and on top right corner of this tracking window there is two other options first one is the stabilize option and second one is the fx option stabilizer is the same stabilize option you can find on the edit page there is no difference and the fx tab is the same as that of tracker window but the usage is different it is used for 
open effects plugin you add to the clip via this node so you can use that to tracking so that's all about this tracking window guys or tracking in color page i hope you guys find a good idea about all the functions and all the tools that you need to use on this tracking window i hope you guys find this video useful and one of the simple tip that i want to provide before i sign off is that before you start tracking add a node and try to differentiate your subject you are tracking on the clip by adding contrast or by increasing the saturation like all that sort of things just use that so your subject is going to get with differentiated from the thing you want to track from so you can get an efficient tracking by using this method so that's all about this uh, complete walkthrough guys it's an in-depth guide i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe